All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal with phonerbooks.com, and we're using this NVU software, which is downloadable free from the internet, to create a simple author website. Now, the steps that I'm taking here are somewhat tailored to the way that the NVU software works, or at least the way that I perceive it as working. I would never used it before Sunday, but uh, it, it gets the job done. It just has certain quirks that will work around. Now, one of those quirks is that it tries to save pages with the file name the same as the page title, something that isn't very useful and that I really don't like. So we're going to save this page that we created in the first video, and it's going to ask us for a title, and I'm going to title the page Index. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is going to be our home page. I'm going to put it in the Lesson subdirectory for this uh, directory on Phoner Books, and I want the page name to be index.html. And this is the only way I can do it from within the software. I could have gone out to Windows and renamed it. But in that case, I'd have to go to my computer, etc. I think it's much easier to do everything from within the software, even if it means bending around. As to the page title, which appears in the top bar here, we're going to change that later anyway. So we won't get excited about that. So after we have our page here with the logo and the four sectors, we're going to start by building the navigation. So let's say the navigation for home will be um, author website lessons. Okay, that'll be our main page. And below that we'll have a page writing for the web. A page on using images. Uh, with text. How's that? Nice long name. Using images with text. Uh, YouTube videos. Videos are getting more important online. This uh, tutorial obviously is a YouTube video, though we're replicating it in text as we go. Um, something on visitors and traffic. It's a crime that most people with websites don't actually take the time to find out whether or not they're working. and. Really, the only way you can do that is to keep an eye on your server statistics. It sounds boring and wonky, but if you don't know how many people are coming to your website and why they're coming, what search phrases they're using, you're just working in the dark. And a contact page. And because I'm a big believer in copyright, we'll have copyright 2009 by Morris Rosenthal. Now that looks perfectly ugly, I know. So in order to make it look a little more classy, I'm going to turn these submenu items into a list. And we'll do that here with Format, List, Bulleted. And this is the basic look of the entire Phoner Books website, which draws somewhere between 2 and 3 million visitors a year. So don't look at this and say, oh, this will never work. Oh, it works pretty darn good for me. Um, now that we have this basic look set up, what we're going to do is connect it to navigation. And the way one makes these uh, menu items work as navigation is to link them. So this home page link is going to go to index.html, which we know, in fact, is the name that this page we've already given. So this link, when you're on this page, wouldn't move you anywhere. It would just keep you on this page. It is the home page. Uh, we'll link the next one to writing.html. I'm just going with the first word that I used for the file name to keep it simple. We'll link this one to using.html. All right, we'll link the next one to youtube.html. And keep in mind, any navigation we want to add after the fact can easily be done with cut and paste. None of this stuff takes a lot of time. You might think that by setting up a, a template you'll save a large amount of time, but that's only true if you're producing a large amount of pages on a regular basis. And I don't know if I add 20 new static pages to my website a year. It's not... I... I... I do not write all that quickly. I hope, hopefully, I write quality, but I'm not going for uh, quantity. That's for sure. And contact.html. 
So there we have it. There's the basic navigation for this website for starters. And I'm going to save that. Save. So we have that saved as index. Now to create these pages that we're going to be putting this other content on, all you have to do is come back here and use save as to create their file names. So we know that the first one was writing. Save. We'll save another one as using save we'll save another one as YouTube save another as visitors save and then finally our contact page save and the whole time this page title up top hasn't changed because that's in the HTML and we haven't changed it yet. And I'm going to save that for the next lesson. So this is Morris Rosenthal for phonerbooks.com and I hope this was less than 10 minutes so YouTube doesn't cut it off and we'll be doing the next video in a moment.